Good morning. Thanks for waking up with me on Up With India. Today is September 18, 2020, and here's your morning update. In local news, in an effort to support small businesses citywide and give equal access to resources, Wilmington Mayor Mike Przicki and City Council President Hanifa Shabazz announced a partnership with the Pete DuPont Freedom Foundation and Wilmington Alliance to participate in the National League of Cities City Innovation Ecosystems Program. The announcement came just ahead of the City Council President's weekly address. The program asked city leaders to commit one year to creating the right policies programs and practices to ensure their communities can thrive in the global innovation-driven economy. For more on that, head to WITN22.org. In state news, according to reports, a four to three vote came in Thursday night. The Delaware State Board of Education approved a plan to allow fall high school sports to begin with practices September 28, 2020 and games in October. The DIAA in August said fall sports would be moved to 2021. The last week, the board reversed its position after the state announced fall sports could be played with masks and other COVID-19 precautions. The DIAA change required the approval of the State Board of Education before it could be sent to school districts. Each district can now decide whether or not it wants to field teams. In other news, according Today, alleged unwanted hysterectomies and other abuses at ICE facility prompts investigation. Department of Homeland Security announced this week it is looking into a whistleblower complaint by Don Wooten, a former nurse at the Irwin County Detention Center in Georgia, who details medical neglect, such as refusal to test detainees for COVID-19 and other alarming practice of subjecting female detainees to hysterectomies without their full consent. Immigration attorneys are interviewing detainees this week, with some describing experience Experiences where parts of their fallopian tube in their ovaries had been removed while in custody. The allegations stem from a 27-page complaint compiled by Project South, an Atlanta-based advocacy group, as well as Georgia Detention Watch, Georgia Latino Alliance for Human Rights, and South Georgia Immigrant Support Network. Members of Congress are now pressing the administration for further inquiries after the report was leaked. In more news, an announcement came in by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi that the House will vote on a bipartisan bill named after slain Fort Hood soldier Vanessa Gillian on Wednesday that is designed to help victims report sexual assault and sexual harassment in the military. The I Am Vanessa Gillian Act was introduced by Democratic Republican Jackie Speer of California and Republican Representative Mark Wayne Mullen of Oklahoma alongside Gillian's family and other Congress members. The bill also moves prosecution decisions on sexual assault and harassment outside of the chain of command to an office of the chief prosecutor within each branch of military service. The bill will be put to vote next week or early November. What are your thoughts on today's news? Make sure to comment below and let me know. Don't forget to like and share on Facebook and Instagram at WITN22 Wilm. Thank you for watching Up With India for more news, updates, and information. Follow us on social media at WITN22 Wilm.